seven o'clock in the morning and uh, the boys have been walked uh, they've been out down the bottom of the beach here uh, the sea came right in last night it was lovely to listen to I felt a bit blurry eyed this morning after a few beers um, it's great uh, sunset over there in the corner uh, last night and the cloud was just high enough to catch it hovering on the horizon uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get some uh, some breakfast now, coffee on, and uh, listen to the boys snore while uh, we grow another hour. I think I'm very sleepy this morning. Sierra has done me. There's uh, chasing shadows park up for the night. Shows you yesterday. This was the view. This guy leaves his uh, his VW here most of the time. There's one mother space. Which, uh, there's a few people put tents up last night and they obviously left them and then they obviously come back today as wind breaks. But what a view. It's beautiful. In here is the boys, Marla Mo. Stannable, Marlemal, and Stannable, Marlemal. You're looking for schmackles, aren't you, Marlemal? Stannable, Marlemal. Right. Time to get comfy. <laughs> There's uh, Jeffrey and Becky on the beach. Jeffrey got his stick. Jeffrey got his stick. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit stiff on the leg this morning. think solar is worth the money take a look I've got two leisure batteries which are 110 amps and there I don't know whether you can get in close enough and if I hand you that till you back so there we've got 13.4 volts on the leisure battery and the solar is pulling in 7.2 amps Ooh, hang on 7.2 amps and it's converting it to 9.6 amps so the batteries are running the fridge phone Bose speaker another phone lights LPG ignition and those two leisure batteries well yeah. stay charged all day and all night with the 300 watts of solar on the roof bloody amazing power from the sun this place is fantastic it's uh, you just make out chasing shadows just behind the uh, lifeboat station Trusaith 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 you've never been here and you're not far from here it's worth a, a day trip or even a holiday you've got a beautiful coastline there's some MOD station up here and uh, apparently Dolphins are quite regularly seen in this bay, but I ain't seen any yet. I think the tide's coming in at the moment, so you've got to be careful on this uh, corner. But apparently, they tombstone off these uh, these rocks. A guy's been coming down here. I was speaking to yesterday for the last twenty odd years, and his daughters have grown up here. 
I mean, you'll catch me up there, mine. But if you're that way inclined. But it's, uh, it's only about half nine, ten in the morning. Imagine the weather is going to bring a few down today. It'll be quite busy. Had a mega sleep in the van last night. So heavy. Fresh air as well. Just uh, just zonks you out. They've got a mega view up there. These uh, like, like holiday homes are like temporary structures or what? I don't know. A nice view out. quarantine on the way back which I think is only going to make places like this busier I think probably the most population of Britain probably holiday to Spain who can afford 14 days leave on the back end of their own leave I can't not that I want to go to Spain anyway right? certain parts are a bit nice but, right, so. but yeah it's going to affect a lot of people a lot of tourists Certainly, uh, if you're in a van, it's probably retired, so it doesn't really make a difference. But it would have been a nice place to send the drone up, but uh, old MOD base is uh, stopping me doing it. It's very high red risk, probably won't take off uh, on every map I've looked at. It kind of splits somewhere over there, and obviously they're running the risk of losing it. It's not worth it. But we get some mega shots of the coastline. Just a bit of a shame, isn't it? So I'm that close to doing it, but best not. That sun is in, it's a bit nippy. Oh. Yeah. I best make my way back in case I get the slip. Good stuff. Colours on these algaes, it's like moss. Absolutely incredible. Hopefully you can pick it up in the camera. It's like a toxic lime green. Beautiful. It really is uh, beautiful little place. Bit of blue sky up there, so fingers crossed. And that climbing up there, it's too high for me. So it's time uh, to hit the road. 
Uh, we've had a fantastic time uh, down in uh, Trusaith. Um, wait, sea's come in now, so the beach is packed. Ah, you, can just, you can't see it through there, can you? The beach is heaving. Um, it's warm, muggy. Late July, isn't it? So it's busy. Kids are now off properly. So we're going to head back. Uh, I think we might stop at the country park, walk. Uh, the boys give them a good blast, give them the opportunity to get clean. Stan went in some mucky water yesterday. Van Pong's stinks. <laughs> it was near, but he uh, seems to have carried it with him. But now, we'll go back and uh, give him a good run uh, at the park now. So, about an hour away, not far. So, we're on the way back now. We've had a really good time. Have you had a really good time, Rebecca? Yes, thank you. That wasn't false. <laughs> Hello like camper it. van. Like Nobody ever waves back. They always wave. Nobody waves back. A lot of hills around here, isn't there? 